Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday. Hey, everyone. It is Saturday, and I'm down in the office here right now, migrating some files from my laptop over to my iMac here. So I'll be able to do some stuff. Um, basically, I'm just, I want my iMac exactly the way that my laptop is to make it easier to do work. So I'm just bringing everything over to the, over to the iMac. Uh, we got a busy day today. Uh, my daughter's high school, both of my daughter's high school, uh, has what's called Bronchopalooza today. It's kind of like a carnival fundraiser for all the different departments in the school. So at the end, they'll be there, student council, you know, all those sorts of things. So they'll be over there today. Uh, supposed to be pretty much all day. So we're going to go over there and help them set up. Um, not going to record any of it, just with high school kids and all that stuff. It's kind of, kind of gets sketchy to bring a, a camera over to that. So I'm not going to do that. Um, this here should take me a little while longer to do. Uh, hopefully this works, uh, cause there's a couple programs that you can't buy anymore and you can't download anymore that I, I still continue to use. They're on my laptop that I want to use on the desktop here so that I can use flatbed scanner that I have. Um, if that doesn't work, then what's going to have to happen is I'm going to have to go out and I'm going to have to buy a new flatbed scanner. And I really don't want to have to do that. So crossing my fingers, hoping that it works. Um, it's Adobe product, so probably not going to work. Uh, so we'll see. Um, yeah, other than that, really not sure what, what else we're going to do uh, for the rest of the day. I know my wife and I probably head out to do a little grocery shopping while the girls are at the thing. I hate grocery shopping with a passion. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I'll get with you guys in just a little bit. All right, everyone, I got the scanner to work. I was able to transfer the files that are on my laptop currently over to my iMac. So this is going to work out beautiful. Um, so I'm happy about it. So we're going to get going in a few minutes to head over to Bronco Palooza. Uh, hopefully the kids do well. I'm um, going to bring the stuff over and just drop my daughters off. And like I said, my wife and I are going to go out for the afternoon. So I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Taking out the floor mats and I washed them with Lysol cleaner. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. My wife feels like she's in an episode of Seinfeld right now. She has a rotten smell in her Corolla. She has shampooed the carpets inside. She's pulled everything out of her trunk down to the spare tire and cleaned the entire area. Sprayed and the entire thing at Lysol. Took out the air filter. Checked the air filter cartridge, checked all the wiring, harness, and everything. Checked the cabin filter. There's no dead animals. Yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> You're saying about checking the, the filters and everything for a dead animal was a few years ago she had a nitro that it was originally mine and I didn't like it. I wanted a pickup truck. So she took the nitro for me. And after she had it for a little while, it was really bad smelling. She ended up having to bring it to the dealership. They couldn't find anything. Ended up some type of animal got into the, the heating system or something. And what was it, like the spring or something well, like that? Well, it smelled for about two months. I thought it was spilt coffee, so I shampooed all the rugs. And then, fall came and I turned on the heater on high and then all of a sudden after a couple of days some fur came flying out at me and then I brought it back to the dealer and had all the air filters changed and they found a little skull in one of the air filters. So I took on animal. <laughs> like I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> so if it wasn't something spilled on this, yeah. that, that's the last thing. So now I gotta dry it. Yeah, the only thing that we're thinking right now is possibly when she went grocery shopping, there's hamburger or something, and some of the blood spilled onto the carpet in the trunk. I, other than that, I mean, she's going through the whole thing. I I, I have no idea what it is, because I can, I can smell it a little bit, but she's in the car all the time, so, you know, she's it, it, it gets pretty bad on her. When two Febreze plug-ins in the car aren't even cutting it, <laughs> you know it's bad. <laughs> the fun of living in the woods uh, but all right uh, so hopefully that <laughs> hopefully this takes care of it for her um 
yeah, we'll see. I'll let you guys know. All right, so my wife's going through a car. She's cleaned that thing spotless now. So uh, if there's a smell, I have no idea where it's coming from. Uh, we're gonna have to take it to the next step and see if someone can detail the car or figure out where that smell's coming from. But uh, unless it's buried somewhere in a hose or, or something like that, I have no idea. So I don't know, I'll do some, some research on it online. Uh, my daughters are they're home from that, you know, we've been home for a little while now from Bronco Palooza. They did pretty well. Uh, a little stressful day for them, but they did pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's, you saw, I went down there and saw all the kids working together. And I mean, to be honest, it was the kids that, that did all the work and they did a tremendous job. They did an absolutely tremendous job. So my wife and I went out for a little while before, you know, we checked her car and it was nice to get out just the two of us for a little bit. Uh, so yeah, that was, that was my Saturday. I've got the, the flatbed scanner. I mean, this thing is an antique and I've got it. Oops. I got it. So it works now. So what I like to do is uh, paper documents get in the way, uh, that take up so much room. So what we do is once we've paid the bills, uh, we'll scan them. I save them on, on a backup hard drive then back up that hard drive and then we shred our bills so just so they're not hanging around uh yeah it, it works it works and it, it's a lot easier to find a bill that way i just plug in the backup hard drive and do a search for the date that we're looking for and you know it's really easy to find so i've almost got my office to the way that i want it now uh i've got cosmetic work that i've got to do uh one of the things um, I'm torn on right now is I'm using a 32 inch HD TV over here for my second monitor and it works beautiful. It absolutely works beautiful. Um, I don't know whether I want to go and just get a 27 inch monitor, uh, cause the, the TV does take up a lot of room. But one of the things that I do like with it is I can watch TV. I can get Netflix on it, uh, just anything. So like if I'm working on something on the main iMac here, I have like Netflix on or, or something like that. Uh, anything that I can stream from the computer can go onto there. Um, or even like what I do is I use my cell phone, stream it to there. That way I'm not using any of the processing of the computer. So I'm torn. Uh, one of the things we were looking at is we have a 3D TV upstairs. We went and when 3D was coming out, I thought that it was going to be the big thing because all the movies were in 3D. I, I, they were talking about the Super Bowl being broadcast in 3D. So we bought a 3D TV. It was Black Friday, so it was about the same price as other TVs. So, you know, it didn't cost us any more than a regular TV. Well, 3D's failed. Uh, it, nobody has it. Nothing's out on it now. So to me, it was a waste. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is rather than getting a, a monitor, putting this back in the bedroom, we may take the 3D TV, put it in our bedroom. And I was looking at 60 inch 4K TVs today. And the sad thing is, is I don't know. I don't think the camera's picking it up. I've got a Vizio TV up here. I bought that when we moved into this house 13 years ago. And the thing, it still runs beautiful. I, I watch TV on it. I watch football. I, I play PlayStation on it. Love the TV. It's not a smart TV. It's just high definition. But when I bought that, I paid like $800 for it. Uh, when we were looking at the TVs today, a 70-inch smart TV with Roku built in, uh, 4K, 
uh, all the bells and whistles. I mean, this thing was, it, it was beautiful, right? $500. Oh. So what we may do is uh, Black Friday's coming up in what? Probably, what was it about two months? About a month and a, a month and a half to two months. Wow, is it that quick? And you usually get really good deals on TV. So my wife is a, um, she's a pit bull when it comes to Black Friday. Her and my daughters do it and God bless them. I did it one time 20 years ago and I swore I'd never do it again. But uh, they usually have really good deals on TV. So if we can get one, a good one at that, you know, for a good price at that time, then, you know, we'll do it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, re I don't know whether I can justify spending on, on a TV right now. We have so many TVs in the house. Uh, we have other things that, that would be better spent. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out. But anyway, this was my Saturday, guys. Anyway, uh Oh, wish it could have been a lot more exciting. I wish I could have taken the camera into certain places, uh, certain things that I did today. They were kind of interesting, but I wasn't able to get the camera in there. Uh, just, just, uh, I didn't want to be, you know, looked at funny with it. So I didn't take the camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the vlog, thank you. Uh, I try to put one up a couple of times a week. I, I used to go daily, but I'm kind of kind of burnt out a little bit right now so I'm kind of backing off a little bit uh but I'll, I'm, I'll get back into it once you know I get a little break and get a little bit of uh a little bit of a kick in the butt to do it so um thanks I, 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 for being here I appreciate it uh if you like the vlog click the thumbs up over here if you're not a subscriber to the channel you can click the subscribe button right over here uh, if you click that little bell icon right next to the, the subscribe button, you get a notification anytime I put up a new video. So, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I'm exhausted. I'm going to bed. I'll see you guys later.